So we're here in my 99 Lexus GS400 and uh, I'm getting the famed ABS module failure and what that is, start the car and you'll get this uh, terrible beep, ABS light on, VSC, ABS, VSC, off light. Um, so the module is going bad. Uh, one thing I've learned to kind of like get like bypass that um, or you know just get that noise to go away for a second. I'll turn my key to on. And if you could hear that. It's pumping up right now. And uh, once it stops, I'll start it up and then I should be good to drive uh, without that beeping noise. Okay, so just stop. Um, and this is just like a little... Uh, so it's gone now, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and change out this module. Uh, it should be a, a decent sized job. So this job should be pretty straightforward. Uh, this is a used one I scored off eBay. Um, it looks like it's in really, really good condition. Um, and I've had my GS now for over 10 years. And if you look, this one's got some paint marker uh, on top of some of the parts. Um, so I think this one has already been swapped out, uh, but it did last 10 years. So I just went ahead and just, uh, Got another one. Uh, hopefully I get another 10 years out of it. Um, hopefully the, the car will outlast this brake booster. All right, hopefully you guys can see now, um, I dropped this, this trim piece. So you can see that's the brake pedal. And then on the firewall itself, you see the four, one, two, three, four uh, nuts I gotta take off that hold on this whole uh, master cylinder. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the brake pedal and those four bolts. To disconnect the brake pedal, it was actually easy. It was just this cotter pin grab a pair of pliers and then uh, pull the spring off and then this uh, little pin slides right out. Uh, so now the brake pedal is disconnected and I can do those four bolts there. Got all four of those nuts off, they were 12 mil. Um, I'll use my uh, my Milwaukee little powered ratchet here, it made it super easy. So now we go to the engine bay and disconnect everything in there. Connecting these clips is the typical Toyota fashion, push on the clip. Uh, pull off and that's it Got all the harnesses undone um, easy peasy, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the brake lines now, uh, and I'm gonna try I don't know it, it probably will make a mess. I'll probably get some rags ready to go uh, while I do this I got everything about as far as I can get. Uh, I, I sprayed some, uh, it's called Croil. It's uh, basically anti, uh, what, what would you call it? Anti seize, it, it kind of breaks up, really stuck bolts. So these two hydraulic fittings for the brake reservoir, uh, they're 10 millimeters and you can only get an open end wrench on them. And I'm kind of having a tough time breaking these loose. So in the meantime, I got everything on the donor parts ready to go. I got all the, oh, I missed one connector almost ready to go. I got all the old connectors off and all the old uh, fittings off. So I should be able to just swap this in there, bolt it up and, and be good to go. All right, so I let that stuff sit for about 15 minutes and I was able to break these two loose. Um, now, from what I see, this should be able to pull right out after I get this last fitting off. Um, okay, dropped. See if I can get this up and out. Okay, okay. Tight fit. <laughs> okay. Well, come here. You can see the old one. Uh, 
really, really dirty. And the new donor, which is from eBay, and that one looks almost like it's brand new. So, so it was a used GS300 2003. Um, so I guess we'll find out if it, if it works when I get it in. All right, now it should be uh, same thing, but reverse order. So let's get this thing in. Okay. Got kind of guide that end in first. That's it. Um, reverse order, order, order time. Uh, I'm just gonna go and put it on the time lapse now. All right, got everything in. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest. It's a, it's a typical bleed job. The backs, I believe, are just normal, and then the fronts. I think you have to pump the brakes 40 times, uh, and then that'll be it. Um, a pretty straightforward job. Uh, should be uh, save you a few hundred bucks to get this done on your own.